You have a sound Bible teacher teaching you the word of God that you're jumping around and scratching on. First of all, anybody that does not believe that Jesus is God is Antichrist. I don't care the name on his head. Once you don't believe that Jesus is God, you are an Antichrist. It's the Bible. I can prove it to you all over. I can give you scriptures quickly. And I don't debate to such people because it's a waste of strength. We have no basis of discussion until two of us agree that Jesus is God. Once we can't agree on that, there's no point of discussion. Those are not issues for debate. Those are what makes Christianity Christianity. And without all controversy. Great is the mystery of godliness. That God is manifest in the flesh. It's not an issue for debate. What are you debating about? Why don't we debate whether you are born by a human being or not? Let's debate on that one. But let's not debate on the deity of Christ. Jesus is God Almighty who became a man to save man. He's the tenthropos. He's God man. As God, he said, let us make man. As man, he died for man. When he rose from the dead, he justified man. He's God Almighty. If you listen to me teach on reflecting the Father, you won't even waste your time listening to that defeat. Isaiah says his name shall be called wonderful counselor, mighty God, everlasting father, the prince of peace. It takes a blind man not to see those realities in scripture. Anybody that argues on the deity of Christ is not a Christian. And anybody who denies the humanity of Christ is antichrist. So both the denial of his deity and the rejection of his humanity defines the antichrist. Am I teaching? It's Antichrist. It's not a, and the Bible says they will manifest themselves. Because they are not of us. They may be among us for a while, but when the presence of life comes, their true color will come out. And their true color is coming out. So you know the spirit of error from the spirit of the truth. Huh? Hey, Abadaga. Jesus is God. Do like this. Jesus is God. Almighty. Glory to God. Glory to God. That's our common confession. The word you subia in the Greek. Our common confession is that God has become a man. To save man. That's the love of God. Amazing grace. How sweet the sound. Somebody said they don't know it. No, it's not that they don't know it. They are not believers. They are not Christians. Anybody, let me re-emphasize, because that one, when you start talking, that one, you're looking for my trouble. Anybody who denies or argues on the deity of Christ is not a Christian. Did you hear that? He's not a Christian. From that day, that person ceases to be a Christian. In my estimation. And from that day I and that person have no basis for this cause. Except he wants me to teach him. Not for us to argue. That's our common confession. That's our meeting ground. What is the creed? What is the creed that the founding fathers of Christianity established for us? I believe in God the Father. I believe in Christ the Son. I believe in the Holy Spirit. Our God That's our creed. Hear you, O Israel. The Lord our God is one. We don't have three gods. And you know, honey, as the days go by, this thing is going to get hot. The true Christians will emerge out of the rubble. These are the things that will expose people. These are the things that will draw the dividing line. Oh yes, and I'm excited about it. Yeah. All those that are among us wolves in sheep clothing, their true color will come out. Which issues begin to come out. Then you will know who is a Christian and who is not a Christian. 